Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo Cunny Corso. Stop, don't start. Don't start. Mad Mordigan has a really bad habit of getting very loud as soon as I start to record. So, yeah, I put her inside. Um, so we are really trying to get these kennels in order. Um, we've, it's been, uh, watch out, you're gonna get, you're gonna get sand in the doghouse. Um, and I'm moving her doghouse over where I put, um, where I put Don Juan's to try to keep her from doing that. So some of the dogs, not all the dogs, some of the dogs are more upkeep than others. So Sookie and, um, Don Juan are two very high maintenance dogs. They're very, they're two very dirty dogs. They don't care where they poop. Um, they poop where they run. And so what they have this horrible habit of doing is pooping all along here and then running all along here. And so it, it becomes impossible to keep their kennel clean because there's nothing to clean up unless you're just going to shovel out all the dirt. So um, I put in, um, as you guys knew, we, we had bought sand. Um, so this is what it looks like when the sand is actually in. Much, much, much more sanitary. Um, um, I've already cleaned out. He already pooped, cleaned that out today. Um, we've got the um, Batista here. His looks good as well. We did remove the metal grates that were in there that were temporary. As I told everyone, they were temporary. We've got Blon uh, Nirvana in here um, by hers. Preacher scaring the chicken. And um, here we have... Um, this is what it looks like. So... Yeah, so the tarps suck, and we're going to have to figure something out. It, it just... We, we've dealt with this before. Um, obviously, the water's going to get heavy, and we put a hole in it to kind of help, but um, because the, I don't care if there's a little bit of water in there, but the problem is that um, is that basically um, a lot more water is just, it just, it was just so filthy, and so... I thought we need to use <sighs> You guys have ever seen, like, a playground, and their playscapes above them have these large, almost like... There aren't poles in there. These yeah. Like that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So we need we need a better solution for the for the for the roofs, but um, right now this is what we have. I just didn't want the the point is that I don't want the dogs to get rained on. I know they have their dog houses, but um, the dog houses need to be covered, and so that's really um, the most important thing, and that's what we're trying to do. So what I think. Um, I'm, what I'm going to try to do, Ralph is um, watching a football game, but he's going to come back over later, and we're going to try to basically put these tarps, like connect them to the trees, and kind of bring them over so that they're because they need to be at a tilt. They have to, um, otherwise they're going to do what they're doing right here. What? They need to be longer tarps? Some of them are big enough to do that. Um, the only other thing we could do that I was thinking about is if we got like a big. Not, it doesn't even need to be huge, but like if I got like a long board or something, not a board, but a round piece of wood, whatever you want to call it, a pole, really, I was gonna say wood is very hard whatever, to metal pole, wood pole, something and put it like in the middle mm -hmm. and then, and then cemented it in, we could connect them and then have them like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, yeah, that's what I, I was think, kind of saying. Is that we I think that's the best idea. Right, right. And I don't think that would be too expensive. So, anyway, it's just, it's a learning curve. We're trying to figure all this out. This is all um, super temporary, and I do want to stress that out. This is super temporary. Um, we have no intention of keeping the dogs like this, but, you know, I'm, as people say, Rome wasn't built in a day. And I'm only one person, and I don't have, you know, the amount of money that it would take to be able to build the type of facility that I'm wanting to build. So, and the idea is going to be... Um, and obviously I have to, I'm working with the county. Um, I, I did get an, I hired an attorney and we're trying to figure this out. And so um, basically what I think is going to end up happening, I'll kind of show you guys. Savannah, can you, can you keep doing that for me while I'm doing this? So basically in the end, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk out and show you my vision real fast. So I'm a bit of a car nut, a bit of a, a bit of an enthusiast, not like, you know, not like it's my whole life, but it's definitely a hobby. 
And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a garage right here. So I'm gonna make this whole area, if you could imagine, a roundabout. So we're, this is gonna be um, a driveway. We're gonna build it in. These kennels will not be here. And I'm gonna build a garage, a side garage, that will house multiple vehicles. Um, and, um, and so it's gonna kind of block off um, more of my um, property, like from what you can see. Now, if you can kind of see back here, wherever you see trees is, what are you doing, Mona? Get out of my sand, woman. So wherever you see trees is my property. So basically my property is thinner here and then it gets thicker, it gets wider the farther back you go. And so for me to, to get my dogs farther away from that property line over there, um, I can actually b build a kennel back here in the trees. So I'm gonna have the car garage here right here, right, in this roundabout driveway here, which the garage, I want it to match the house, <sighs> like as far as the design and all that stuff. And then as we go back, the kennel will be right here, right? So farther back on this tree line here, okay? And it will also match the house. And it's gonna be um, an indoor kennel, and um, it'll have... It'll be kind of like my barn, but it'll be designed like my house and it'll be set up just for the dogs. So, um, and so anyway, so, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what it's going to be. Um, it'll have good flooring in it so that we can come in and we can just sanitize, spray it out. I'm going to have this rubberized, um, flooring that we're going to put in there. And, um, and so, um, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just trying to make the use, uh, make the best use of the property in the meantime and using kind of my house to block the sound from the dogs, which I think has been working, but who knows because I don't know. But having said that, as you can see here, how the property line goes, it keeps going farther and farther out. And so all of that um, is my property way back. You know what I mean? Way back. It goes way back because it's 10 acres. So, um, now we will be cutting down a lot of trees. Um, but this area here, this is going to be for the dogs. This is what we're going to do. And, um, that way, um, they're still going to be close to us because right now that's, that's why we're working so diligently. We're trying really hard to get all this done in time because we have a winter storm warning coming. And so it's going to be snowing. Um, temperatures are going to be very low, I believe down to 17 degrees. And so we're trying to get all of this done and trying to raise up these kennel spaces because unfortunately, even though this is better for my neighbors, it's worse for my dogs because this is a washout zone. And so um, what was happening is that, and you can kind of see here how the water's been collecting. You can see it's kind of collecting here. So it's it's washing out these, these runs and, and in particular was really collecting in, um, in Don Juan's. And so it took a lot of sand to level his out and um and so that's that's you know it's it's just this just isn't a good spot for a um for a permanent solution um unfortunately we're gonna have to do where like I said where it gets farther back there so they'll still be close it's not we're not talking like way back um but it'll be a situation it'll be a, a a setup where um where the dogs will be close enough, um, but they'll be in a much better setup than this. So, um, it's, this is fine, but it's, it's just not what I want. I want something much easier, um, to clean, um, something that's easier to keep, um, to sanitize and, um, yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, so that's kind of the deal. Um, that's kind of where we're at. And, um, 
And so anyway, so yeah, we're just we're just now finishing up um, Sookie's and um, well, that's Cochino. Uh -uh. Yep. So anyway, so we're just kind of dispersing it about because uh, the sand is actually um, it's fantastic. It it has fantastic drainage qualities. You can sanitize sand. Um, and so if it ever gets, Savannah, you got to you, you can't be doing these thin layers like you're trying to, that's why we're having to redo this kennel is because you did way too thin of layers last time. You can't do thin layers because <clears throat> then you just have to redo it all again. It needs to be thick. Okay. Thick. Like all the other ones. I know I did, but you saw how I did them. <clears throat> thick. <clears throat> You can't just do a little layer. Oh, you guys. So anyway, um, so I'm going to let y'all go. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, we do have Mona inside. There's going to be um, dogs that are inside that don't have dog houses. So Preacher was out here with Sookie, but, um, excuse me, but the weather has been remarkably warm here lately. And um, we have not needed uh, for the dogs to all be in dog houses. But now with this upcoming um, cold weather warning thing we got going on, we're going to have to. Alrighty. It's a little bit better, um, but we're going to have to redo this area here. We want it to be thick, okay? Thick, my boy. She's mad at me. Love you anyway. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to get back to it, you guys, because we got a lot of work to do to get these kennels ready so that, so that we're good to go. We're going to be working through the night. I guarantee you that because storm's supposed to be coming around 4 a.m. And we, I guarantee you, ain't got enough time to get it done before the sun goes down. So I'm going to get some lights, some outdoor working lights. And, um, and get this all set up. And then what I'm doing to kind of help with this is, like I said, I'm moving the dog house. So he was doing the same thing, running, running here where he poops. And so I moved his dog house there and his water there to kind of block. Yeah, they're all leaving. They know the cold is coming. Yeah, they're all leaving. Yep, there's ducks way out there. Where'd they go? Yeah, there they are. Can barely see them, but there's been a bunch of migrating geese. So anyway, so yeah, so that's what we're up to right now. It's a lot of work. It's not fun, but you know what? These dogs, they gotta have, they gotta have it. And I really, I'm, I'm liking this a lot better. So and sand is cheap. That's the cool thing. Sand is cheap. So look at preacher. What is that? Do you see them geese? Do you see them geese? You see them geese, my boy. You see them geese, my boy. Where do the geese go? Canada? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Nothing about geese migrations. Go, my boy. Go, my boy. All right. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Like I said, we got to get back to it. How to get these kennels done. So... Y'all have a good day, and we'll talk at you later. Watch out, be down. Bye.